Okay, your next lesson will be very similar to the first one, only um, you're going to take it to the next step. Uh, it's going to be using auto keyframing, but instead of just a simple primitive object, you're going to use a biped. You're going to animate the biped, um, have it do some sort of uh, athletic activity. Um, to do this, go to create and then go down to systems and choose biped and then just click and drag and create your biped and to bring it forward hit Z so that should bring it forward to all the viewports and uh, from here we're going to use the same technique that we learned in the first uh, lesson uh, you can grab part like the hand and uh, turn on your auto key and um, you can move the hand and then you move the timeline for this one you might need more than just a hundred go ahead and uh, make your length 500 and try and use this whole amount of time for this uh, project and you can have it do like I said any kind of athletic uh, activity uh, if you want to stick other objects in there, have it bounce a ball or put a table in there and have two of them arm wrestling, you can do that. Uh, just uh, use the same technique so that um, we can continue going in the same direction. So see from here to here his arm goes out. If I can go to one, bring it back. And remember with keyframing every object has instructions of its own so if I click this hand you don't see any keyframes down here if I click this hand you do see the keyframes because each object is separate now technically these are bones that we're dealing with here so um, in the future we'll skin a biped so but by that I mean we'll take a, a, an actual model and we'll, um, we'll tell it that we want that model to uh, conform to this bone structure. Maybe at 100 we start with the feet. kicks out real fast. You can use rotate too, remember. Uh, all that is recorded. So let me show you what we've got so far. See what I want what I want you to do for this project, do a lot more than just this. I want you to actually have this guy moving around and possibly interacting with other objects if you have the time for that. Um, if you don't have the time for it, it's okay. This is a more complex model, so you've got to do like, each little part, the head, and all that. But if you do have time, go ahead and add other uh, objects into this. And then just render it out. You'll have one week to complete this project.